Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to make this floating detail using a crinoline. So you can use a boning if you want. I posted something like this a while ago. I used a boning for that. But for this one, I used a crinoline and it looks very neat and flat. So you will need your crinoline, a hard one. So you are free to determine the wideness of the crinoline you want to use. For me, the one I used right here is 3 inches wide. So I'll measure it so that you guys can see. This one is 3 inches wide. So that means the fabric that will cut out to be 3.5 inches wide on fold. The crinoline itself is 3 inches. The fabric will be 3.5 on fold. The half inch is for the seam allowance, so you can see I'm measuring my 3.5 and I'll go ahead and cut it out and this fabric is on fold. So you are free to determine the length of the detail, maybe if you want it to be too high or too low, you are just free to determine the length you want. So I'll go ahead and cut out my fabric. Remember to cut out on fold. So I'll cut three pieces of this and all of them will be three and a half inches wide on fold remember on fold so i'll go ahead and cut out three of these so if you are using a crinoline that is two inches that means the wideness of the fabric that you cut out will be 2.5 inches so this is the second one i'll go ahead and cut out the third one so if you want to add an interface to your fabric you are free to add that if you are using a doll face or a crepe ankara you can add a hard interface or a soft one but if you don't want to add it's still okay it's almost the same thing so i am done cutting out the third one right now i will go ahead and close all of them using half an inch seam allowance i'll close all of them with half an inch so i am done closing them i will turn them out i'll have to talk them out so after turning them you will iron and if you are turning please when ironing this seam allowance the area where you joined from should be at the center it should not be at the side so that no one will be seeing where you joined your fabric from so you can see the area where i joined from is at the center i don't know if you can notice that so i'll go ahead and iron this flat and that will be all for the fabric for now so after ironing the next thing that i will do is to measure my crinoline like i'll go ahead and cut my crinoline so that they will be the same length with this, these pieces that i folded so you place your crinoline on the fabric and then determine the length of the pieces that you turned then you will go ahead and cut so if you want to have a very firm detail you will have to double your crinoline if you want to make it to be three fine if you have enough crinoline you can even make it to be three so i'll go ahead and double each of these crinoline like the crinoline that will insert inside them but like I said, if you have enough crinoline, you can make it three layers. Like you can triple this crinoline so that it will give you a very, very firm detail. So I have six pieces here and I'll go ahead and merge them. Like I'll pair all of them. I will go ahead and join them at the sides. So after joining, I'll come back and show you guys what i have so i am done running a stitch on the side so right now i have two two crino lines for each of them so you can see how they look they are stronger now so i will go ahead and insert this crino line inside those pieces that i folded or that i turned so if you are finding it hard to insert you can use the fabric to cover that rough edge the rough edge of the crino line so that inserting it will be very easy for you so right now i am inserting the first one after inserting this one i'll go ahead and insert the rest so after doing all of these please iron you have to iron so that you have a straight and a very flat um so that they will have a very flat and straight look so this is for the first one i'll go ahead and insert the second and the third
so i am done doing that and i'll go ahead and iron please if you're ironing use a steam iron or sprinkle water on top of each of them so that they will accept heat so this is what i have at the end of the day and if you fold this is how it should look so guys i hope this tutorial is helpful please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe our july classes is still ongoing i'll also drop the link to our telegram group so that you can join our telegram group if you want to be in our telegram group i hope this is fine like i said you can use a boning or you can use a crinoline but for me i think i like a crinoline because it gives a very smooth and flat look so guys like i said do not forget to subscribe to my channel we are very close to 100k please please see you in my next video bye